After provoking the biggest protests in Hong Kong's history, Carrie Lam couldn't put up with the finger pointing any longer. The city's embattled chief executive took to the stage and took the blame. I personally had to shoulder much of the responsibility. This has led to controversies, disputes, and anxieties in society. For this, I offer my most sincere apology to all people of Hong Kong. It was an unusually humble appearance by Lam, but for her critics, the apology was too little, too late. Carol Lam just chose to say sorry, and that's all, and totally ignore the request of Hong Kong citizens. Demonstrators had called for Lam's resignation amid protests against a controversial new law that would allow extraditions from Hong Kong to mainland China. A law they fear will remain on the table as long as the Beijing-backed leader stays in office. They must go. If suspended, even indefinitely, the bill could be revived someday. To Hong Kongers, this government and Carrie Lam have lost all credibility. She says one thing today and another tomorrow. She's not trustworthy. She should step down. None of us here feels the sincerity in her most sincere apology. We have set a deadline for the government. If they don't answer our demands by June 20th, our protests may escalate. Just this morning, Hong Kong slowly started returning to normal. Government offices resumed work and roads reopened to traffic. But with anger refusing to fade, this could also just be the calm before the next storm. Now let's go live to Hong Kong and to DW's Phoebe Kong. Phoebe, will Carrie Lam be able to get through this and stay on in office? This is a big question like, for many of the people in Hong Kong. Carrie Lam simply insisted not to step down and hoped to uh, complete uh, uh, the, for the rest of her term until 2022. So right after the press briefing, actually, many of the pro-Beijing politicians, they openly expressed their support to the chief executive and hoped the uh, Hong Kong society to move on. And some pro-Beijing politicians and observers, they even said that um, this is already the bottom line of the Hong Kong government that um, it's not likely they can make they can make like further concessions but um, beyond that so um, uh, there is no sign so far for her to end her career right now but um, beyond that it will be very difficult for KLM to um, to govern the, the, the Hong Kong uh, society in the coming three years uh, because uh, regarding she has lost uh, obviously all of uh, her trust and the integrity um, um, towards the uh, Hong Kong people. And tell us about the protesters. Who are the people who are out on the streets and who's organizing these huge demonstrations? Yeah, today um, is Tuesday, it's a working day, but we can still see many, um, maybe um, around like 100 and or 200 protesters, they are still gathering outside the Legislative Council complex. And most of them are young protesters, some of them are even teenagers, like secondary stu school students or college students. Um, so these movements, um, many of the participants, they are really young. And, and the organizers of the massive rally, they are called Civil Human Rights Front, with which is um, uh, uh, organizer of uh, many of the social movement and the massive rallies in Hong Kong. But, um, but obviously they are not um, like the one to lead this movement because this time and um, the movement in Hong Kong, this is uh, more, more, more about like, self-motivation of the ordinary Hong Kong people. Right, Phoebe Kong in Hong Kong, thank you very much for that update from there.